Hey everybody, Scotty here. Welcome back to another episode of Pills of Eternity. And I'm going to complete the Master's Tools. Which can be picked up from a little guy over here. Very important note, um, there's a room in here that you can either access or you will not be able to access. This is highly dependent on whether you absorbed Marywall's knowledge. If you did, well, good news. You can get in the room. If you didn't, I'm sorry. Can't get in there. Sure. There are lots of traps in here. Just, well, isn't this something? I guess in certain areas. That's part of Master's Tools. Of course. I am going to start on the left side. There's some pretty big battles over here. It seems like every time you kill some of those those pack of spirits or ghosts or whatever, these guys pop up. You can get some dialogue out of them. They're they're uh, servants to oh, wait wait something very important. They're servants to the master below. Um, I don't think it's this guy. No, no, it's a different guy. But you find out what the master below wants. Of course. Dang it. Something I could have did both of those waves. But I didn't. That's alright. Nothing in here is trapped. There's nothing particularly special. Hey. Other than emerald, I guess that's cool. You save. Oh, yeah, let me show you the level. Um, the center is where we need to go. This is a dead end. Up here is the room, the secret room I was telling you about. Enemies in here are not tough at all, they're just very tanky. For the most part, they're immune to a lot of crowd control, too. There's another piece of the... What is it? Quest item. Alright, when you come down here, there are going to be a lot of traps. They shall see nothing while I see much. And the one in sure. the middle, right here where this big circle is, Oh my gosh, he's serious. Following your lead. Does he have the highest? Oh, As I guess he does. Okay. I doubt he can trip that. I don't think so. That's What's pretty high this? level. That one right there. That's, that's not what I wanted to do. That's not what I wanted to do at all. Whatever. Hey. I'm sorry. What is that with this formation? That's not what I wanted either. So 
it was so easy. Especially to be, you know, level 14. Nothing here is trapped either. I think the last piece is in here. You can talk to the spirit. Oh, um, I'll do it on the way back. Since I gotta turn this quest in. Just get a little bit of dialogue. This dude doesn't really say anything. Oh, that does have a trap. Well, I guess I'm gonna be fighting it. No, oh, I missed. Sweet. Hey. Was, was that it? Did I get all of them? Yep. So let's go back. To level 13. Oh, level 12, I mean. See, certain areas, I guess it's just certain areas that you you kill some enemies and they pop up. I thought it was just spirit areas, but I forget about this. This is like the only section like that. <laughs> and I believe I'm not hey. sure which guy to talk to because I, I kind of go through dialogue quickly. But trust me, in my main game, I know what they're talking about. Um, he, all right. So Master Blow's got these servants, right? And they keep bringing down souls, or bodies, whatever. And he wants something that they can't give. He wants his son. So that was something you wouldn't expect. This guy is a little punk. Since you got all those items that the, their leader wants, he wants it to turn it in. But no, dude. No deal. <laughs> and actually, just by doing that, just by not killing that guy, tell your leader that what he did he tried to become hostile tell his leader and you will get a very good dagger your scouts weren't very grateful here he gives you this and you give him that they're going to use the stuff to create some golems to help their colony gives you some gold some copper and that's the that's the dagger drawn into spring looks cool too <laughs> and you get 60 about 6500 quest experience and I'm actually going to use this dagger here it is Toil is superb 20% damage over time plus 5 accuracy very very nice Fourteen, twenty. It's it's gonna be the same damage too, but it just has better stats. That's twenty percent damage against prone, stunned, flanked enemies. That's twenty twenty percent, twenty five percent damage over time. That's guaranteed damage. And you can also use this guy. He'll he'll uh, he'll become a vendor for you. Of course, saying that again doesn't really do much. We already know about what he's doing. See what supplies you got for sale, but... You sell some nice scrolls, but... Nothing... Nothing particularly nice. Get rid of all this crap. Let's 
That's all the items I got from those animates. Very cheap stuff, too. Alright, she turned back to level 13. Right when you come here, go to this door. Go to the door first. <laughs> Try to get in the door. You can use all of these dialogues if you want. It will do nothing. It, it will do nothing at all. But it's required that you go to this door first. So now I'll come up here. You have to do this. You have to go to the door first. Just hands down, you have to. I'm sorry. I didn't design the quest, I just do them. There's nothing challenging up here. I'm just go ahead and get get uh, saving just for good measure. All right. See when I was gonna level up. Still gonna be a while. All right. This is a whole bunch of singualas. Hey. Man, all those dudes are mine. I'll just do it like that then. Hey, okay, still want to attack you. Kill them, that dude will appear. Of course. Oh, this is that room I was telling you about. Um, if you absorbed Mayor Wall's knowledge long, long ago. Man, that was so long ago. Nice Use and stealth, quiet. and this right here should appear. Um, you'll be able to go in there, and there's a sword you can pick up. It's a unique sword. Uh, it grants fireball. I'll post. I'll post all the specific stats of the, of the sword. Anyways, moving on. Okay. Uh, talk to this guy. What we cannot give him, even after all this time, there's so much we do not know. He wants his son, the boy he knew, whole and preserved, returned to him. But people's souls don't always remember. So taking it, his son is dead. And he wants him back. <laughs> All right, now, in order to get past this door, are you still loyal to Adna? Do you know a way past the speaking door? You gotta speak the oath. I am the servant of Adna. My sword arm is pledged against my enemies. My soul is sworn to his purpose. Sworn. Eh, I'm not going to do that. Alright. Turn back to the door. There's actually another unique weapon we're going to be picking up. Unique battle axe, I believe. It's alright. If you like using axes, suppose if you're like a barbarian, it's pretty nice. Hey. Yes. Let me just heal her up. 
go back to the door, continue, continue. Um, it's not this one. My, my soul is sworn to his purpose. It's not this one. He literally just said that. It's actually this one. Which is kind of confusing. I am enemy. My sword arm is pledged against his following. My soul is sworn to this purpose. Okay, well, whatever. <laughs> That's the one that works. There you go. Alright, moving on. It's actually All right, a pretty then. big battle up here. Take all them down. It's not too hard. Just create that blockade. You know, normal strategy. There's the unique X. You know, I didn't show you that knife. I mean, I mean the lore of it. This is pretty nice. Edge of reason. Yeah, it's battle axe. All right, that not a dagger. There's the lore to it. <coughs> Hey. And that's pretty much the end of the level. Yep. <clears throat> so that's going to conclude this episode. Thanks for watching, everybody.